Hello, today's class will be linear models of regression, uh, which is also models of linear regression. Or simply put, you can just call it linear regression. I think that is the most familiar term that we use in statistics and mathematics. But today we are going to be looking at linear models of regression under machine learning. Uh, particularly, we are going to be looking at polynomial curve fitting and that would be also an aspect of linear basis function model alright so this formula here we are going to derive it and then we see how it works I'd like to remind you to subscribe just click on the subscribe button so that when I make new videos or make updates on videos you will get notified alright so we are going to walk on this whiteboard so we are going to derive the model for linear regression. Remember that. So let's uh, write a few things. Hope you wouldn't mind using the right pen. All right. So we are going to be looking at models of linear regression. Remember that linear regression is one of the two methods or techniques under, supervi under supervised learning. The first one is regression and the second one is classification. Just a little recap there. Uh, if you have a data point plotted in this way and you need a regression line. You want to feed a, reg a regression line through your data points. So you might have something like this. Though this does not capture all the data lines, but is a good approximation of this. So what it means is if you have another data uh, somewhere, uh, this line will also suffice. So if we are talking about supervised learning, it means that we have some input data, say x, and we map it to an output y, meaning that the value of y depends on x. We also look at it this way. Before we do this, it means that there must be a function that relates the two. But in supervised learning, just like uh, in other aspects of machine learning, you don't have this function. You only have input data set. Part of the input data set will also be uh, the corresponding labeled uh, data. So if you have x, then let's assume you have x, then you have corresponding t. You have x1, you have t1. You have x2, you have t2. You have x3, t3, all the way down to xn and tn. Okay? So, this is the data you have. So, all along the line, you are given a different x. Let's say x uh, j. So they are, you, you need to find the corresponding t for it. What it means is that you need a function that says f of x equals t. So this function here, how do we find this function from the data? So this is, you have inputs and you have the outputs and you have to derive the function that relates the two. One way to do that is to use the polynomial function. Is to use the polynomial curve fitting that simply sums up all the inputs. So polynomial curve fitting. That is one approach to do that. Okay, so This is also known as a uh, 
linear basis function model okay so how does this work how it works is that you derive the input the output by having a function a polynomial function that is a sum of all the terms uh, of the inputs a polynomial function of the input variable okay so this uh, basis a uh, function model is the linear combination of the input variable so now we have the input x1 x2 x3 all the way so it means that we will have a function y a function of x that will be a combination of the input but now we want to introduce this coefficient called w okay after we derive this then we have to check the probability that the output we have is correct given the input variables so we'll have something like w0 plus w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus plus w d x d okay so this is the function that we have in the simplest term so basically this is called linear regression take note that these are vectors okay so what it means is that this x now is the same as x1 x2 all the way to x d so making it a, a, a column vector so that it could multiply with the other times so what we now have is the function of the input variable x but there is a problem with this function if we are having this function we see that uh, this linear relationship will not be able to capture the observations in real life uh, the observations that we may have or the uh, models that are common today they are not always uh, linear functions so meaning that this linear function of the input variable uh, will not work we may now consider linear function of uh, this coefficient that is one option or we could consider linear function of a different variable altogether so the better option will be to use a different function of the input variable which will not be a linear function so what we are talking is that we have a, a function of the input variable that is non-linear that non-linear function could now have uh, the, the linear function of the input variable okay will now have be a non-linear function of x don't know if I'm making some sense but let's write it so that it will become a little bit clearer so if we now consider replacing x with a function of x which function will now be linear and then x might be non-linear variable of this non-linear variable function uh, variable in this function that we define as phi of x so that will give us something like deriving from the previous equation we wrote w0 plus w1 x1 plus uh, sorry this is not right Okay, let me clean off this
okay think okay so instead of using the variable x replace it with phi of x that is what we are going to do so we are going to replace it with phi of x so we now have uh, plus w1 phi1 of x okay so plus w2 phi2 of x2 and then we continue all the way to w d phi of uh, x d okay so that is what we have there so if we now take the sum what we now have is the initial function that we had in the first slide so we have x w equals w0 plus we now take a summation of all these variables from 1 to m minus 1 m minus 1 because we already have an initial value of w0 which you can actually call a bias w j uh, phi j the function of x all right so at this point we now have the linear uh, basis function model we've already created so now the function of x which is phi that we are using here is what is referred to as the basis function so phi is referred to as the basis function so this is how to derive the basis function and that to be a very important model of linear regression so maybe you pause this video here and take some time to walk through from the beginning to the to this place which derives this function so let me just close it so that to become a little bit better all right so this is where we stop if this has been informative for you give the video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe for more videos on artificial intelligence and machine learning